For generations, you've slept. No purpose. No call to wake you. Grenier. Seeds from the ruins of the old war. Swallowing colonies whole. But there's still hope. The Tenno. Monuments of an ancient warrior caste. Scattered across frail worlds.
forgotten. Like a dream. I see the Lotus has tried to wake you. Pity she's too late. You're my prize now, Dendo. No. We are taking this one with us. What has he done to you? I can't lose another Tenno. I'm surging your Warframe's power systems. Quick, use your power. Defend yourself. An extraction ship is waiting for you, but the Green Air will be hunting you. Arm yourself. Salvage team, why have you not reported in? You made it. There's the extraction ship. is pounding. This one is stronger than the rest. Lock the area down. This Tendo is mine. Quick, get to the console and release the lockdown. Do that, and I will guide you to your old ship. It's your only chance. Stop touching me, you... What? Are my sensors deceiving me? Operator, is that you? Reinforcements are here. Ship Cephalon, we require immediate extraction. The operator is in danger? I will need a few moments to cycle the engines. Ten, are you afraid? You cannot hide from these old eyes. I've marked you. You will return to me. Operator, you have returned. I am Ordis, ship Cephalon, a shadow of my former self. I cannot serve the Operator in such a condition. Order me to self-destruct. I will understand.
Welcome back, everybody. It's madness. Those savages. Components have been removed. The lower orbiter compartments have no life support. Why did the operator abandon me? <clears throat> Arsenal management could be restored if the operator wishes it. Oh, well, this is awkward. <laughs> Anyways, uh, welcome back to Warframe. Uh, looks like we're going to have some technical difficulties real quick. <laughs> Returned. I am Ordis, ship Cephalon, a shadow of my former self. I cannot serve the operator in such a condition. Order me to self-destruct. I will understand. The Grenier are ravenous for this old technology. It is superior to theirs. Perhaps there are systems left in the orbiter compartment? Look at this madness, those savages. Components have been removed. The lower orbiter compartments have no life support. Why did the operator abandon me? Arsenal management could be restored if the operator wishes it. Well, everybody, welcome back to Warframe. And today we are going to be playing through Vor's Prize, which is the starter mission for the normal Warframe game. Anyways, let's go and start installing segments here and get this quest underway. I love that it popped up with the interact <laughs> button. You honor Ordis. Now I can supply the operator with better modified firepower. Oh, the violation. Those have been looted as well. Uh. We need to figure out what Captain Vor has done to you and stop him, but we'll need help. I found a communication segment we might salvage for your ship. When you are ready, activate your navigation system. Ordis hopes the operator will punish the Grenier for dismantling it. So, yeah, welcome back to Warframe. Ah, we just got done fighting off the Grenier to get ourselves some lovely weapons here. And now, we're going to go and get some ship comms. Ooh, I haven't played normal Warframe in a while. The segment you need is in a nearby data vault. Infiltrate the vault and retrieve the segment. The Ascaris is working, breaking through. I see the shadows of your mind. Ooh, Neurodes. This data vault is equipped with a variety of security measures. How you defeat those measures is up to you. Oh, well, let's not fight the wild dogs. Mainly because they're gonna fight the Grenier if... Oh, come on, buddy. Sorry. The target console is nearby. If you trigger the alarms now, the enemy will start destroying data. Okay. Wait, can you go like all the way down here? <gasps> Oh my gosh, I feel so stupid. I never knew that was a thing. I thought you always had to like run across this. You could just slide underneath.
Didn't they change the timings on those? Uh, because I swear it wasn't that like desynced before. Oh dear. The segment is yours. Head to extraction. As every moment passes, the Ascaris burrows deeper, revealing you. Oh, I can take the elevator up. So yeah, this is, uh, this was a spy mission, um, there are many different types of missions in this game, uh, spy being one of them, there's extermination and uh, defense, survival, and many others uh, that we will come across through playing this. Cool. Orbiter Void Cloak engaging. Welcome back, Operator. The Operator has recovered a segment. In in install it now. Ordis patiently awaits its installation. Okie dokie, here we go. Get communications online. I must analyze what Boris Ascaris is doing to your Warframe. This technology is beyond the Grenier. It must be Corpus in origin. Systems engaging. I suppose this will do. Ordis is grateful. Cool. Now we can access the, the codex. The now connected with other Tenno in the system. The operator may now contact all black market scumbags. Contact arms dealers. Excellent idea, Ordis. Tenno. We need to make contact with the Corpus Defector sympathetic to the Tenno cause. They will, of course, require compensation. You see what Ordis is referring to, Operator? In this case, compensation will not be credits. It will be freedom. I've updated navigation. You will need to break him out of a Grenier Gulag. Anything to else to say, Ordis? Nope. Time to rescue the arms dealer, Darvos. Ah. And then maybe we can get some new weapons. Probably not. Ah, a rescue mission. The arms dealer is named Darvo. He's being held in the prison block on the other side of this factory complex. I remember good old Darvo with his daily deals. Ah, a lot of ripoffs. How many Grenier slaves died to build this place? I don't know. A lot. Darbo was out for himself, but he is sympathetic toward the Tenno. The Grenier must have found out. The Ascaris is working, breaking through. I see the shadows of your mind. Don't let Vora distract you. Focus on the mission. It's our only hope of figuring out this link with him. So yeah, we have kind of... 
little bug in our system. Oops. You weren't supposed to see me. And I think this is like the first mission where they can actually lock down all the doors and stuff. Because that's one of the uh, one of the things that. This is the prison block. If you can avoid detection by the warden, it may be easier to get Darbo out. Bypass the security so we can enter. Yeah, so there is a stealth element to this game, and this is a good example of the stealth element. So in this room there are uh, there are lancers. I don't see a warden, but usually on rescue missions there are three wardens that are in here. Ah, uh, there's one. And the Wardens are very powerful, and if you alert them, they will go to execute the prisoner that you're rescuing. Which... Search these cells for Darbo. He has to be here somewhere. Which is no good. I think because this is the, like, tutorial mission... There's only like one warden. Well, let's rescue Darvo first. I owe you for this, General. I will get my entourage to meet us in orbit once we clear of this mess. Extraction is ready. Remember, your success here depends on getting Darvo out of there alive. Okay, the warden. The Lotus must be desperate to send you fetching greedy fools from the Corpus. There were more. No, there weren't more. Okay. Okay, Darvo, let's get out of here. That's the wrong way. Okay, um... <laughs> yeah, you didn't see anything, buddy. Uh-oh. Stop saying stuff. Uh, it's bad for your health. Come on, Darvo. Let's get out of here. Now, the Ascaris has burrowed deep enough to give me influence. Shall we see how your shields work? The Ascaris is letting Bor control your shield. We must figure out how to remove it. Avoid taking damage while I try and block him. Okay, so our shields were just removed. That's great. In the meantime, uh, we can just stealth our way out of here. Hey, Darvo. Standing on the railing there. Oh cool, we got the mod segment. That means we can start augmenting our weapons and warframes. Oh, that's nice. I see the operator can enable the mod segment now. Ordis will be delighted to show you how to upgrade your arsenal. May I recommend fire? Mm -hmm. I do like fire in this game.
Except we don't have any fire mods. Operator, I've linked the mod segment to your arsenal now. No need to thank me. Uh, upgrade your warframe now. Go to the arsenal to see the weapon upgrade options you have. So, this terminal allows us to look at all of our different mods that we have. Ordis patiently awaits compliance in using the new arsenal features. It is for the operator's own good. Yeah, I, I know, Ordis. I'm explaining this first. So, in here we have all of our mods that we've collected so far. And you can see that we have... Uh, Ordis patiently awaits compliance in using the new arsenal features. It is for the operator's own good. You know what? He's, gonna, he's not going to shut up, is he? Okay, let's let's activate the arsenal. And you can see... An excellent find, operator. There are hundreds of these mods to locate. If my calculations are correct, there are exactly a lot of possibilities. Install the mod before we can continue. Are you finished, Ordis? Ah, oh, good grief. Okay, so, as you can see, uh, only some of our mods appear here. That's because these mods are Warframe mods, and they can go into any of these slots here. You might also notice that some of these slots have different symbols. So, for example, uh, this has this little V-shaped one. If you put another V-shaped one, it will cut the cost in half which is nice because normally it costs two but if you put it in here it only costs one and each one of these mods has a uh, different cost to them as you can see by the number up in the top and every item you have has a capacity for mods so right now uh, we've used one point so now we have two left to spend and oh boy what do we spend it on so continuity gives us ability duration which isn't very useful actually it is useful right now because we have uh, the, sp the speed boost uh, stretch will allow us to shoot lightning farther redirection will give us more shields more health and you might notice that this one is a flawed redirection, and this one is a normal redirection. Uh, and yeah, this one will give you more shield capacity, has more different, more upgrades that you can get on it. This one only has three, and will only provide 20% shield capacity, but can be upgraded to, I think, 40%. And in that case, it would just be a normal redirection. But we can't equip this at the moment, so... Oh boy. Let's look at a few of these. I think we're going to go with... Let's go with intensity over continuity. And... The only other thing we can install is stretch at the moment. So our abilities are stronger, and the range of our abilities is longer. There are these two slots up here that normal mods can't go into. This is an aura augment mod slot, or whatever. And this is, I can't remember, I guess an Exilus slot? And this one is specifically movement affecting mods. This one, the Aura slot, is an upgradable mod that you can put in here that will actually increase the capacity of your Warframe and will uh, provide other benefits according to the mod. Now, this... Thanks, so help me out back there. I'm in your debt, and I often pay my debts. I recognize that device. It's a parasitic restraint. We corpus use something similar to keep our robotics in line. So, to settle my debt, I give you a very expensive blueprint. For free! Because I like you. <laughs> and well, a lot of my customers don't live long with these grenade dogs chewing up the system. Here, 
Use your foundry to build a countermeasure device from this blueprint. Good luck. Thanks. I was gonna say that. Force Ascaris is plowing into your warframe. I'm worried it will affect your mind. I can't lose you, Tenno. We must restore the ship's foundry immediately. Yes. A nearby ore extraction colony will have the foundry technology you need. I am certain they will share it with you. Its location has been added to your navigation console. Can I talk? Okay, so I was gonna say that all the weapons have their own mods. So like there's rifle mods and then there's primary weapon mods. And all those you can start using for everything. So we'll slap serration there. You can see it jumps up all of our different damage types. And there are a lot of di different damage types. It might be a little bit confusing to get into right away. But yeah, there's different damage types, different armor types, and they interact in different ways. It's like playing a very complicated Pokemon. <laughs> and you can easily tell the capacity of your weapons and Warframes by the rank that they are. They have a rank from 0 to 30, and every rank you get a new capacity point. So you will... You will want to rank up all your stuff so that you can stick more mods on them. Next on the docket is to get the foundry segment, which is this guy here. It's going to allow us to build new weapons and items. So let's go grab that from a, I guess, Grenier Foundry? Tenno, we may have a problem. The colony is unresponsive. Get to the surface so we can see what's going on. Yeah. Colonies in Grenier don't mix well. Was afraid of this. The Grenier are here, and I cannot find any signs of living colonists. You still have a job to do. Find the boundary segment. So the Grenier. You might be wondering what what's the deal with them, and the deal is. They are actually just all clones of someone long ago. And they tried to rule the origin system with an iron fist. Unfortunately, there's. This was once a prosperous, independent colony, until the Grenier arrived. Queens <sighs> fear you, but I will show them. Their love will return when I deliver you to them. Yeah. The signal cannot be used any further. Yeah, so the Grenier are a bunch of clones, and they are not really the brightest. But they do have overwhelming military power. Then again, we are a machine built for war, so, um, yeah, we're kind of overpowering them quite easily. Yeah, there we go. And now we start Good. your ship is one step closer to completion. Now, there is one more thing you need to do. Eliminate all Grenier and provide justice for the colonists. Woo, extermination mission. Soon the worm will be in your spine. 
and I will control this warframe of yours. I will purge your doting mother and bring you home. Job well executed. Ah, now we get a bunch of a lot of different uh, mods that we can use. Attack speed, electricity. Oh, here we go. Heated charge. Now we can throw flaming knives. Your foundry segment is ready for installation, operator. Will the operator build a cephalon to replace me? I don't think I can do that. Cool. Foundry restored. Here, the operator will craft many powerful weapons and tools to exact revenge for dismantling me to expand your arsenal. Oh no. Operator, our component storage has been looted as well. Oh no. Typical corpus. Sure, the blueprint is free, but jack up the components. Operator, we will need resources in order to build the countermeasure blueprint. Hmm. So, yep. This is the foundry. Colonel, I just received oh. a very explicit oh, message from your ship, Zeblon. If you're looking for resources, why didn't you just say so? I know just the place, but I demand an apology. My mother is no gymnast, and she would never eat those things. You can go straight to... Operator, I am sorry. Wow. You may want to get a new ship, Zeblon, when you can afford it. <laughs> that one seems glitched. I've marked your navigation with a place I know. It's good for resources. If you can stand the cold. Okay, no one's gonna talk over me again? Good lord. <laughs> it's like non-stop talking from these people. I can, I can barely get in a word before they start blabbering like, to me. <laughs> So yeah, welcome to the Foundry, where you can see all the different blueprints that you have, and you can see what they need to build them. And you can even hover over things, and it will tell you the locations that you can find this stuff. So for example, the Salvage can be found on Mars, Jupiter, and Sedna. Uh, Morphix can be found on those planets. And Polymer Bundles, and Plastids, Ferrite, and all that lovely stuff. Uh, we can also see that we got Sun and Moon, the blades from uh, the Daviri Paradox as a reward for completing it. Anyways, let's get going and get ourselves some caches. I'm thinking I only have 10 minutes to for recording because I'm recording this as an update is being deployed for some reason. Darbo's intel suggests that this outpost is host to several rich supply caches. Raid the caches and take what you need. This outpost belongs to the Corpus, a secretive but extremely powerful merchant cult known to be working with the Grenier. Darbo will fill you in. Legions of robots, mindless automatons, freaking lasers. These guys are bad news, but they're also loaded, which is why you're here. Ah, the corpus. Ah. Keep moving, there is more here. Technically, this is stealing, but don't let that bother you. The Corvus aren't exactly beacons of more fortitude either. They sell anything to anyone. Don't get me wrong, I like profits. A lot. But I 
don't sail my wares to the damned grenier. That's unforgivable. Uh oh. They put things on high alert here. And it might have been because I saw that camera. So yeah. Welcome to the Grenier. They have laser guns, they have robots, they are pretty advanced out here. They also have security cameras that if you stand if you get caught by them they will start locking down the area. Either by placing up laser shields that will damage you if you try to pass through them. Oh. Here's another cache. Good work, but you're not done yet. Find the next cache. You almost have what you need. <laughs> I love that's considered a stealth kill. So, yeah, here, we'll, I'll show you what this security camera does. You get caught by it, it will put up this little laser field. Destroy it, the laser field goes away. And they can detect you from a long way away. <laughs> oh, these guys are taking a few more hits than uh, some of the Grenier that we were facing. And here's the last cache. Oh, for one. There we go. The Ascos has reached your mind and rendered your lotus meat. You will return to me over your own free will. Yeah, so here's another fun little thing about uh, those laser doors. You can actually just roll through them and it'll block all the damage. Also, we gotta be a little bit concerned about Captain Vor still being able to talk to us. Luckily, we have all the parts needed to build a countermeasure to, to his talking. Get him out of her head. Are you all right? This part of your journey is over, Tenno. I admire you for your struggle. But now, <laughs> I am part of you. Lotus, do something. Help the operator. We Grenier are millions strong, but with a flaw, we are diseased, rotting, sterile. But now, we have you! Operator, do not abandon me again. Build the countermeasure. I did this for my love, my queens. They will forgive my insubordination when I deliver you to them. Our love will be reborn as we feed on your divine blood. Our children will flourish without disease. And I will die at last, at peace. Father, 
Grandfather. What do you think you are doing? I think I am getting rid of you. So, the Grenier are kind of uh, suffering from being cloned way too many times. And like he said... I'm free. Ten up. Good. You managed to disarm Boris Ascaris. I thought I thought I lost you. Ah. Oh no. The Ascaris had a tampering failsafe. It's burrowed into you and armed itself. We'll need to find Bor before it detonates. Oh no. Boarding a Grenier ship to access the personnel records will be the fastest way to find Vor. Operator, what are you waiting for? Um, for my headache to stop, apparently. Ordis assumes finding Vor implies violence? Indeed. Let's get ourselves a nav segment. Hello, operator, may I suggest you access navigation and save your life? For my sake. The systems on this Grenier Galleon can be made compatible with your ship. Find and extract a navigation segment. Ah, uh, you know, it's stealth is overweight, overrated. Let's just. You have murdered my sons and disgraced me before my queens. But soon, the Ascaris will complete its task and bring you to me. Okay, let's just get out of here. Look. Ah, here we go. Navigation segment. Disable this galleon and save the colonists. Saving the colonists could jeopardize this mission. I recommend you head straight to extraction, but the choice is yours. The Ascaris failsafe is attacking your systems. Your shield capacity has just been halved. You're wasting precious time, Tenno. Ah, heck, let's go save some colonists. Yeehaw! You've reached the ship's power systems. Destroy the reactor. Destroy the fuel injectors. Uh oh I think I'm gonna have to start uh, putting some new mods into my Warframe here.
There we go. Let's get out of here. Let's give ourselves a little bit more speed. The colonist ship has escaped. I admire your noble intentions, Tenno, but you must survive for the future of the system. Ah, one battle at a time, Lotus. One battle at a time. Oh. When you are ready, proceed to the navigation console. The deck cool. is charging up. You need to bring Vor down. He thinks he can capture you again. Don't worry. I will be with you. Let us show him how much you have learned. Yeah. First things first, uh, let's, um, let's put a few more <laughs> mods in here. So now we have 123 energy and 170 health, but our range goes back down to 100. Cool. Uh, we're going to be finding some Grenier's, so let's just throw the Bane of Grenier on there. Oh well, I guess we'll go for reload speed. Let's go with attack speed. Nice. Okay, let's... Go and take out Vor. Are you ready, Tenno? Facing Vor is the only way to rid yourself of him permanently. Yeah, let's get him. chance. Bowler has been stripped of his Oops. elite card. He is vulnerable. Take him out. I love I love how that Grenier just like rolled. just went and did a roll off of the, like a four foot ledge. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's a lot of you. Oh, I'll take some more energy. Okay. Wait, does he have? Does he have four phases now? He used to. He used to have only like three phases. Okay. How? Oh no, he still only has three phases.
Ooh, ow. I am hurting right now. Well, no wonder these guys are level 13. Gosh. That that's convenient. I'll be honest, if I built a device that plants a bomb in someone, I wouldn't have the deactivation to the bomb be connected to me. That sounds a little silly. Anyways. Ah, we did it. We have freed ourselves from the clutches of Vor. And now we are free to explore the origin system. Basically. You've done it, Tenno. Vor's Ascaris is gone. You are free now. But your work has just begun. The origin system is in chaos. And it needs you, Tenno. Vor was just a part of the Grenier machine, and we have seen that the Corpus have begun amassing weapons of their own. It is a dangerous time. Ordis will gladly assist the operator in cutting a bloody path in whatever mission they choose. We will be at your side. There will be others, too. It is time for the Tenno to return. So... What mission will you do next? Tenno, now that you have freed yourself from Vorn and Zascaris, you have a new mission. One of your own making. I know, I am only your guide. You are your own warrior. You decide what battles to fight. Allow me to suggest the course of action. A secret lies in my defender, blah blah blah. We're good at groups. Unlock jun junctions. Use credits to buy blueprints in the market. Ooh. Customize your weapons and warframes, blah blah blah. <laughs> we anxiously await your punishment for failing this task. Oh boy. So, yeah. Now that we're free, we can access the market. There's a lot of good things in here. You can buy... Uh, you can buy, um... Blueprints of weapons. You can do that by selecting a weapon and oh you okay, not this one. You can't buy a blueprint for that one. But for like warframes like frost, you can buy a blueprint and you can see what it needs to build it. And yeah. You can also get yourselves, uh, let's see, equipment, color palettes. You can get yourself some color palettes for better customization of your Warframe and weapons. I'm going to grab the Pride color palette because actually it has a lot of good colors on it. <laughs> and... Yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna buy off the market. Operator, I run diagnostic regressions. All systems nominal. You don't need to thank me. And we can customize all of our stuff now with nice bright colors. So yeah, that has been Vor's prize. Uh, and I think, yeah, we we actually have the ability to mastery to upgrade our mastery rank. Right now we're rank zero, as seen by this little number here, and ranking up will allow you to access different quests and uh, gear 
like weapons and warframes some of them are mastery rank locked so you can't really uh, buy or use them for example if we go to I think I think there's a few melee weapons yeah yeah you can see that all these weapons are master rank locked and let's say the Nami Skyla it requires master rank 2 so it's gonna be a while before we can get something like that these require master rank 8 and I kind of wish that it said what rank oh it does if you hover over it uh, you can see that this one is rank 10, this one's rank 5, right underneath where it says tab. 4, 7. As you can see, a lot of these don't require any mastery rank. They will just cost platinum, which is the premium currency of this game. Which you can buy for real money, or you can trade with uh, other Tenno in the game. If we go to the trade chat, uh, you can see you, people are selling mods, and well, that's another mod for different amounts of platinum. This guy is trying to sell another mod. There's a lot of mods that get sold. You can buy complete Warframes for... Actually, no, no, no. You can't buy complete Warframes. You can buy the parts for Prime Warframes. And... Yeah, so if you just look in here, you can find there are some pretty nice things to have. And every new character, you get 50 platinum right off the bat to buy whatever it is you want. Whether that be a Warframe or Weapon Slot, which they are actually a lot less expensive than I thought they were. <laughs> And yeah, I th think your best bet is to buy a Warframe or Weapon Slot, but you can also buy Reactors and Catalysts. Man, the market's really kind of bugging out on me at the moment, so let's get out of there. So yeah, there's a lot of good things to happen, but I think right now we can actually do the Mastery Rank 1 test. And this will give us a uh, 500 daily standing limit with uh, all the different factions, uh, not including Nora or unique factions, but there are six factions in the game that I think you, you need to be a yeah you need to be master rank three to access the syndicates, which are six factions that have their own like unique interactions with each other, and that's a whole video on itself I'm trying to explain those. But yeah, that requires rank three. Let's do our rank up test. We get one base mod capacity, so instead of starting at zero, everything starts at one. And every and every uh, mastery rank you get, you get one more base capacity, which is nice. Uh, so if you're like rank 30, which is the maximum rank that takes forever to get to, uh, you can just get a warframe and have it be ready to go from the get-go. A Tenno must be a master of all their weapons. Prove yourself with your primary weapon. 
So yeah, to get mastery, you have to uh, reach rank 30 with weapons and warframes. Warframes. Excellent. Continue. And each one will give you a little bit more mastery. I think we got a lot of mastery for uh, for completing the uh, Duviri paradox. And I think we got a little bit more for completing uh, Vor's prize. So each mastery test is a different experience. For example, this one it was just three waves with your primary weapon. This test is now another yeah, yeah, another journey well done, whatever. So, mastering two is uh, secondary weapon. Three is the melee weapon, and then. I can't remember what the uh, what everything else is. I know that there is ones where you uh, you go in and you do a bunch of like cipher breaking, which is slightly annoying, but oh well. So yeah, now we're mastery rank one. Woo. That means we can access a few new things, and yeah. I think that's where I'm going to call it for today. Uh, yeah, it has been Vor's Prize. Uh, next time you see me, I'm probably going to be a little more colorful. <laughs> going to play with all those, all those color palettes that we just got. See you guys next time.